Super Bowl. Brady has his fifth. What a comeback. And if you're a Falcons fan, how do you get over this? Seriously. Flip side, the biggest collapse in Super Bowl history. One of the biggest collapses in the history of sports. And of course, the loss was a huge disappointment for Falcons fans. That's right, the overtime loss after the Falcons had a big lead left Atlanta fans stunned. What I try to tell them every week. What do I try to tell them every week? The Falcons aren't to be trusted. The Falcons are not to be trusted. Shock, surprise, and pain. A city yearning for triumph now in its first stages of loss. It was a terrible loss, the worst loss. Listen, we have a great team. I feel pain right now, that's unbelievable. A little bit hurting, hurting a lot because I'm a huge Falcons fan. They just didn't deserve no. it. No, no, it's been pretty rough. Well, the Falcons did it again, the fifth week in a row that they have lost this game, 37 to 10 against the Rams at home. This was a nasty one right here. Our viewers are not holding back, saying trade everyone and start fresh. Sell off the team and move it somewhere else. And also, just stop the Falcons ain't never going to win a Super Bowl. I've had enough. I've had enough. Atlanta Falcons. I've had enough. Pretty fed up, you know, it's been a rough, rough couple of years, kind of ready to have them out of town at this point. Fans have given up on this Falcons team. Are the Falcons the most disappointing team in the NFL? When you look at that offense, there is a heck of a lot of talent on paper. I can't say that this year because they've been disappointing since Shanahan left, really. So I can't say like this year, oh my God, I'm surprised the Falcons aren't good. In fact, I was surprised when they beat the Eagles early in the season. They're the most disappointing team for me. So much so that I'm not going to sit up here and advocate for somebody to be fired, but if the if Arthur Blank decided to go in a different direction from Dan Quinn, I'm not going to argue with it. This came down this morning. Arthur Blank has decided to retain coach Dan Quinn and GM Thomas Dimitrov for the 2020 season. Todd Gurley is the newest member of the Atlanta Falcons after being let go by the Los Angeles Rams. Dante Fowler, mainly because, well, first of all, they have a need, and he is one of the best edge rushers around. Well, the Atlanta Falcons are going to replace Austin Hooper with the former Ravens tight end, Hayden Hurst. With the 16th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select A.J. Terrell. The Atlanta Falcons select Marlon Davidson. The Atlanta Falcons select Matt Hennessy. Michael, we're we're gonna we're gonna pick you right now with the 119 pick. I'm, I'm turned up right now. Oh my gosh, this is a place at all. Honestly, don't even know what to say. Again, he's out again! The sixth sack of the day for the Atlanta Falcons. 
They've almost matched their season total. Well, this opportunity is 100% because of them and not all coaches get to see their team fight for them, let alone say they are. And so um, that made me incredibly proud, you know, to be a part of that group that they wanted to fight and say so. And so um, those are things as a coach that you, you don't see all the time and uh, makes you really proud and, and very humble for sure. This has been the most challenging year of my career and the toughest one, but also one that I've learned the most from. And so now we get to apply and fix some of those issues and those mistakes. And uh, not everybody gets a chance to do that. So that lights us up pretty good.